drive and into the end zone. Today I'm going to show you how to speed ramp, but I'm also going to show you a trick that allows you to zoom and reframe your shot. For example, this clip right here, we can actually make it look like this one. Essentially what this will do, it will allow us to use speed ramping to focus on our subject. As you can see on the clip on the left, my subject is kind of like far away. You can't really see where they catch the ball, but right here I'm allowed to zoom in on that subject and slow down that initial catch so I can see what is actually happening. Speed ramping is essentially slowing down your clip and speeding it back up. Now, in order to access speed ramping, all you have to do is find your clip, right click on the FX at the top right and go to time remapping and select speed. It's gonna bring up this little line right here. If you drag this line down, you can see our percentage is counting down. So if I go down to 40%, you'll see that it instantly slowed my clip down to 40%. What this means is now we can control this line and manipulate it. You also have the ability to add your own keyframes. If you hold control, you can see that there's now a plus sign. So anywhere I click on here, I can add points. And within those points, I can click and drag those lines up or down to change the speed. Up means it goes faster and down means it goes slower. Essentially, this will start normal speed, go fast, go really slow, and then back to normal speed. Now you can essentially create a ramp. Click on any of these markers that you made and drag to the right or the left to drag this out. Now once you drag it out, you can also hover over the top and there's this little sideways arrow that you can click to move the position right or left if you wanna change where that goes. You just drag out all your little points as far as you want and now you've created your first little speed ramp. You can also smooth this out further. When you click on any of those keyframes, you can click this little vertical arrow and drag it to the right or left, depending on which one it is. And that will allow you to create these smooth ramps. You can drag the line up and down to change the speed, but if you hold shift, it will actually snap to 5%. So it makes it easy to go to like 50% or 40% if you want. In order to decide what you actually wanna speed ramp, sometimes I just like going through my clip a couple times and seeing what's happening. So here I feel like I could do two speed ramps. So one right here when he almost gets the ball and one later on. So right click on the FX, go to time remapping speed. And I like to go to that first point, hold control, make a point, go a couple frames forward, make another point. I'm gonna go normal speed here, and then right here, I'm gonna start to slow it down towards the end. All you have to do is on this clip right here, I'm gonna slow it down since that's the middle, hold shift, go down to 40, since I shot this at 60 frames and I'm in a 24 timeline, and just drag these out like so, and I can adjust this later, and then come out to here, and right here towards the end, let's just slow this down back down to 40% and drag that out. At a rough glance, I can like look at this and see how my speed ramp is looking. It looks pretty good, um, but I can shift this if I want, so I can move this over a little bit, drag it out so it's more smooth, and also add my little ramp right there. Same thing for this, add a little ramp right there, and depending on how long your actual keyframe is, you can drag these out as long as you want. It's gonna shift your clip, so be wary of that. So this way, it's a slower start and then it immediately ramps back up, just like that. So you can do a fast ramp to get that effect, or you can drag this out to make it really slow. It just depends on what kind of edit you're going for. The same thing goes for this clip right here. Obviously the action is right here when he gets hit. So right click, time map speed on the FX, add a keyframe right there. And this one, I'm just gonna slow down. So I'm just gonna go down to 40%, drag this out right here, click on the middle, ramp that down, and then boom, I have my speed ramp. But as you can see, it's a little too early. So I'm gonna go like there and I'm gonna shorten it up a little bit. Boom, we have a speed ramp. Now, essentially, if you wanna zoom in on this, typically, Sometimes when you zoom in a little bit and you add keyframes, it does not work. So what I recommend is just right click, nest. Now we have a nested sequence so we can add our own keyframing if you want. Most of the magic in speed ramping is when you actually ramp between your clips. So you can go above 100% if you want in speed. So then your clip goes from slow to fast. I'm going faster than 100%, but I can cut into another clip. It actually makes for a pretty smooth transition. Now let's show you the complex example where I want to isolate this play right here, but he's a little far away. I'm going to right click FX, go to time remapping speed. This initial throw right here, I want to actually slow down. So I'm going to add a keyframe right there to slow this first part down. I'm going to go to 40% and I'm going to ramp that up just like so. So now it's normal speed. I can actually speed that throw up if I want, but I'm not going to. Now right here, I'm going to add a keyframe for the catch 
and then I'm gonna go a couple of frames forward, add another one. So this one, I'm actually gonna go below 40%. I did not shoot this in 120, but I just wanna play around with optical flow just to see if that works. But first I have to click Control R to bring up the time interpolation and set it to optical flow. And let me render this. So that looks pretty good. Customize your ramps to your own liking, and then we are ready to reframe. So once you get your ramp all set up, right click Nest. Now I would recommend if you're gonna do a lot of reframing to actually use the transform effect. So that way we can get motion blur. Uncheck use composition shutter angle and let's change our shutter angle to like 100. When he throws the football, I'm gonna add scale and position keyframe and then I'm gonna wait till the catch and I'm gonna reposition my player so that he's in the frame. And just like that, you've reframed your speed ramp to follow your subject. Now click that like button and subscribe for more.